Hi, in this video, we're going to be going over how to enable P2P on your MDR, as well as add your MDR to your mobile device using P2P. So the first thing we're going to have to do is check if uh, P2P is enabled. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go under network, advance, and then P2P. So right here, we can see that it is enabled and under status, it's gonna say registration done. So usually when it is enabled, it will display the QR code at the bottom left hand corner right here. So that's an easy way of identifying that uh, P2P is good to go. And the next thing you need to do is go under network in general. Here, there's gonna be three different things we need to check for P2P to be uh, working. We're gonna to have to check our default gateway, primary DDNS and secondary DDNS. So for that, we're going to have to open command prompt on our computer. I'm going to go ahead and type in ipconfig space slash all. And this will go ahead and bring me all the network settings for my computer right now. So here, we're going to be able to find our net default gateway as well as our DDNS servers. So here, we can see that our uh, gateway is correct. But for DDNS, uh, primary and secondary, we're going to have to input these two uh, addresses. So in the case that you only have uh, one address, um, you would go ahead and put this one address into the primary and you would just simply move uh, the .aa down to the secondary. But uh, in our case, um, we have two. So I'm going to go ahead and input And I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and this will be matching all my current network settings. So yeah, after that, um, PDP should be working fine. Um, as long as you have it enabled and your uh, gateway and DNS is set up properly, you should be able to just scan this QR code on our Lin home app and it will go ahead and add uh, your device onto your uh, Lulin home app. So here I actually have a little video of me uh, actually doing it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it. So here I open up my app. I'm gonna go ahead and click on scan and add QR code and scan the QR code. And here it's gonna ask me for my device name. I'm gonna go ahead and call it test. And for password, I'm gonna go ahead and enter my password. It's not gonna display right here just because uh, when you record a screen record, it's not gonna show you passwords. So yeah, there we go. I input my password. I go ahead and click step one and it's gonna go ahead and uh, authenticate and go to step two. Alrighty, and there you go. Um, I went ahead and added my mobile device or added my MDR into my mobile device. Or here we can see it's saying connecting P2P. You just wait a little second and it'll go ahead and update. And there you go. That concludes how to um, add your MDR to your mobile device. And here you can see on the first camera, I'm actually moving a little bit right here. So you can actually tell it's a little live. So yeah, that concludes today's video.